this is a demonstration of the rainbow produced by water droplets in the sky during a rainstorm. The sun here is, is represented by this halogen bulb. It's a very powerful bulb. The water droplets in the sky are represented by this uh, sphere full of water. And what happens is that the, the sun's light rays coming from this bulb hit the drops of water, refract into the, the drop, so the, the ray of light comes into the drop of water, hits the backside, reflects twice, and then comes back out at a particular angle. So we're talking about two internal reflections and then a refraction coming out of the drop in roughly the same direction as the source of light. But that direction isn't, isn't the same as the source of light. It's back toward the source of light and it is what produces the rainbow pattern. So, um, so this is how it works. Okay, so I think uh, you should be able to see the rainbow pattern on the blackboard, or on the whiteboard, that's produced by this effectively single drop of water in the simulating a single drop of water in the atmosphere. Now when you get a lot more droplets in the atmosphere, all of them reflect the light back at the same angle and it produces a beautiful rainbow. So that's the spectrum of produced by, by a rainbow. What's needed in understanding it are reflection, refraction, and the dispersion of light. Just like light disperses into its component colors using a prism, this um, drop of water acts like a prism, it has a different index of refraction. Well, the index of refraction depends on the wavelength of the light, and so the light coming back out of it um, is spread into its rainbow of colors.